Bonjour, bienvenue. My name is Antonio Cepeda Benito. I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and it is my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the University of Vermont. And if you came from outside of Vermont, any people from outside of Vermont, welcome to the Green Mountain State. I was honored to be asked to welcome you here this morning, but there are in fact many other colleges, departments, offices from the University of Vermont that also collaborated and participated and will be here today, including the College of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences, the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, the Rubinstein School of the Environment and Natural Resources, the Office of the Vice President for Research, the Humanity Center, et cetera, et cetera. And that brings me to a very important point, ensuring a supply of sustainable and consciously delivered and consumed energy is clearly one of those global challenges that require the cooperation of a diverse pool of accomplished experts with different talents and responsibilities. For that reason, today and tomorrow, you will interact with leading policymakers, energy professionals, academics, and students from both sides of the international border to consider the increasingly important Quebec, Vermont, New England electric energy relationship. At this point, I'd like to turn over the microphone to two distinguished guests. Mr. Darren Springer, he is the Deputy Commissioner of Vermont's Public Service Department. The mission of the Public Service Department is to represent the interests of Vermont citizens, including our need to secure a reliable and sustainable supply of energy. Ms. Marie-Claude Franco is a seasoned Quebec civil servant. She is the Quebec delegate to New England whose mandate is to promote the Quebec interests in the region and to foster economic, political, artistic, academic, and institutional exchanges with the six New England states. Full professional biographies are found in your program. Please give a warm Green Mountain welcome to Mr. Springer and Ms. Franco. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm in awe of the talent uh, in the room here, the intellectual capacity in the room. We have a lot of expertise, so I expect a very, very productive conference. I'm Darren Springer, Deputy Commissioner with the Public Service Department. On behalf of all of my colleagues who are here and on behalf of the administration, uh, we'd like to welcome all of our friends from Quebec and from out of state to Vermont and thank them for joining us. Uh, we'd like to thank UVM for hosting this event. And I just wanted to give a couple moments, a couple minutes of context uh, from the Vermont perspective as to why this is so important and, and what we're doing here on energy, why this relationship has been so important. And so if you think about what's happening in Vermont just in the last few years, um, we've seen tremendous progress on distributed generation, on moving to in-state solar and wind and other renewable resources. Uh, starting in, uh, if you look at 2010, we had about 12 megawatts total of net metering built between 1999 and 2010. We now have 88 megawatts either installed or permitted. So we've seen dramatic progress there. Uh, we have uh, well over 100 megawatts of wind in Vermont. We have well over 30 megawatts of additional solar through our standard offer program. We are growing our in-state distributed energy resources and we're uh, seeing economic benefits from that. And, and yet it still remains critically important uh, to have sources of power like hydro and Vermont, uh, as many of you know, gets uh, roughly 45%, 40 to 45% statewide uh, of our power from hydro, both in-state hydro, out-of-state hydro, hydro from New York, hydro from Quebec. It's an important resource that helps us maintain a clean electric grid. And obviously, as we think about the future, as we think about cold climate heat pumps and geothermal heat pumps and electric vehicles, having a clean grid is an incredibly important resource as we're moving forward on some of those new technologies in the thermal and the transportation sector as well. Um, we've been working uh, quite a bit for a long time uh, with Quebec, uh, you know, relationship dating back decades and decades 
Um, but obviously, one of the reasons I think we're here, and one of the reasons that this is an important moment uh, to talk about this relationship, is what's going on in New England in terms of the grid, in terms of reliance on natural gas, in terms of the opportunity to diversify uh, resources, bring more uh, clean power into the region, and what role the Quebec-Vermont relationship can play there. We know there are a variety of proposals in various stages that have been brought forward, uh, both in Vermont and other states, uh, to deliver that type of power. And so I'm sure that'll be an interesting topic of conversation for the conference. And um, you know, I very much hope that it is a good and productive uh, two days uh, for, for those who are participating in both. And just want to add my welcome and my thank you. And we really appreciate the opportunity to participate. Dean Tepeda Benito, Deputy Commissioner Springer, distinguished guests, and gentle, ladies and gentlemen from both sides of the borders, chers amis, bonjour. C'est un plaisir de vous voir si nombreux ce matin, et la journée qui s'annonce sera fort intéressante. It is precisely through this type of cross-border dialogue that we have developed such a strong relationship between Quebec and Vermont. When David Massel and Richard Watts from UVM first approached the Quebec government office in Boston with this conference idea, we were intrigued. David and Richard wanted to host a forum that would help inform cross-border public policy development. At that time, we could not have foreseen how timely this event would come to be. With Quebec in the midst of redeveloping its energy policy, and with major recent developments and pressing concerns in New England, I have high hopes that this conference will help our jurisdictions create strong energy policies that will benefit the people of our regions. This conference was made possible in part through the Quebec United States University Grant Program, which promotes academic exchanges between Quebec and the US on a myriad of topics. The government of Quebec wants to stay at the forefront of fight against climate change. We want to work together with our partners around the world to find the best ways to conserve resources, to innovate, and to reduce our carbon emissions. Later today, the Quebec Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, Mr. Pierre Arcan, will discuss his vision for the energy future of our province. This evening, at a dinner hosted by UVM Provo Rosowski, Quebec Premier Philippe Couillard and Governor Peter Shumlin will discuss issues related to climate change, economic development, energy, transportation, and environmental protection. This conference was designed to bring together academics, public policy actors, as well as businesses that are at the cutting edge in the clean tech, energy, and environmental fields. Tomorrow, more than 20 people from over 20 businesses from both Vermont and Quebec will take part in a business-to-business -business networking session. We hope that these collaborations will increase cross-border trade and help Quebec and Vermont meet their ambitious energy and climate change goals. None of these fields of public policy or business exist in a vacuum. And today, we can begin to explore these issues together, sharing ideas that will invariably lead to a brighter future. Merci de votre présence. Bonne conférence à tous et à toutes.